to Shane Watson here for Pierce for Sports. I'm lucky enough to be joined by WA Continental Champion Lawrence Okoli. How are you, Lawrence? Good, thanks. How are you? Uh, very good. First major, major title to get captured tomorrow against Luke Watkins. How are you feeling and how's camp been for this fight as well? Feeling calm and feel normal, just ready to have a boxing match. Uh, it's a little bit different to the build-up to the uh, Chamberlain fight. Obviously, it's a bigger stage and um, there's more genuine hatred towards you and Chamberlain beforehand. Yeah. How does that change uh, the way you go into this fight compared to the last one? I think it'll give me a, a more clear mindset of what I have to do in the ring. Like I'm going to go in and execute it. Like, um, it's just normal. Like To me, this boxing's not hard. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what I need to do to beat um, what was it, Duke. Um, so I'm just going to go in and do it. What kind of different challenges do you expect from Watkins compared to Chamberlain? Uh, probably just a bit more physically strong, that's about it. Outside of the physical strength, he's a very basic fighter, just pretty good at everything. But um, I'm, I'm going to show a little other side of me that I haven't shown yet, but you'll see tomorrow anyway. So, because obviously in the last fight you showed more of your jab. In this yeah. fight, are you looking to knock out Watkins early? Or? Uh, it depends. It depends on how his defence is in the first couple of rounds, but uh, I'm more interested in the, um, showing him there's a different in like being given um, platform and earning it, so we'll, 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 we'll see tomorrow. And when you get past Luke Watkins, as you believe you will, what kind of opponent are you expecting next? Is it someone like Matty Askin? Yeah, so I want to unify obviously the domestic titles before I go on to European, world, whatever. So definitely someone like that. Maybe a defence or two beforehand, maybe go straight into it. I don't know, it depends how hard or easy this fight ends up being. And how much have you kept your eyes on the World Boxing Super Series? Are they the kind of names that you want to be within within um, the next year or two? Yeah, so but I've kept my eyes on it, but not too... Sh sh I've watched it because I enjoy watching boxing and seeing what top cruiserweights are like. But in terms of any name or anything like that, not really because I know in boxing it's one punch at a time. So a champion can be champion um, or even winning a fight up until the 12th round, get knocked out and then it's another champion. So I try not to look too, too much at it. Who do you believe will win in the final between you and Gatsby? I going to win um, off of um, just in and out movement, um, picking angles as Gazav steps forward. But then um, obviously Gazav always has the chance with a big punch. Do you think Usyk would have a chance up, uh, up everywhere? Yeah, but not not at the top top level, but at maybe like um, fringe world level, definitely. Yeah, because he'd beaten already some of the big heavyweight names in the amateurs. Yeah, for example, like Joe Joyce. Yeah, as well, but so. I mean, um, Joe Joyce was a lot less experienced than he is now, um, and it'll be over a longer dura duration. So it won't be five rounds; it'll be twelve rounds. So it's a lot different. As you're uh, one of the biggest cruiserweights there are in the cruiserweight division, do you see a future for yourself at heavyweight as well? Uh, it depends how my cruiserweight career is going, if I'm making weight comfortably or not, and then you can work from there. John Wilder made a comment recently that he wants to unify at cruiserweight after he's uh, unified at heavyweight. What's your thoughts on that comment? Well, we'll have to wait and see if he can even unify before we talk about anything like that. But it's all good, more excitement to the cruiserweight division, but nothing. Okay, thanks for talking to Pierce's what's saying, and good luck ahead of fun. Sweet.